Nigerian sculptor and associate art professor Nena Okore uses discarded materials like this piece of paper to make art. I would take them and uh, try to create uh, a piece of art from them or engage people in a conversation about how uh, materials can be reused to extend its life and to extend our resources. While the recycling is integral to a chorus artwork, some students think North Park could do better at integrating recycling on campus. Students like RRA and Biblical Studies sophomore Johnny Kim. Blue bins, where like it, it clearly means you know to put like paper and aluminum cans and whatnot in there, but like how can you truly know where it is? You know, like how, where it's going. Fusco plant director Carl Wiestrom says MPU does recycle. In every school building, there are three different bins for paper, cans, and garbage. All apartment buildings also have either recycling bins or recycling containers outside in the alley. If they do use them, we will properly dispose of them. North Park collects the recycling and then waste hauler Violia picks it up. According to Violia, trash is taken to Sion Landfill in Sion, Illinois. Recycle material goes to resources management company in Anderson, Illinois. While Wiestrom says North Park is doing its part to recycle, some students think North Park should make a bigger deal to advertise and promote recycling on campus. I think it would be a good thing for the campus to promote to incoming students and to students that are here already that, you know, North Park does care about the environment and we're making a conscious effort to do something about it. Biology professor Alan Bjorkman says it is the myth of abundance that makes recycling a challenge. Particularly when things are inexpensive. They seem so abundant, so free and easy. There's just no cost to use paper or to get another gallon of gasoline or to cut down another tree. Swedish exchange student Hanna Kronström thinks habits could change if there was more recycling education. People don't really care about it because it's not a part of their society and their habits. In Nigeria, because of the lack of resources, people recycle as a part of their um, survival instincts, as a part of being ingenious and trying to use things um, and create new ideas and new ways of making things and making things work. Uh, I wish that that would be the same here where people are always thinking uh, about how we can uh, you know, give a longer life or sustain our resources a, a little longer. Even if it's not a case of survival, some at North Park would argue that recycling is integral to living a life of significance and service. For North Park News, I'm Eric Kinhammer.